box so this is the second uh, tutorial on uh, web hdfs so if you have not already watched the video on web hdfs so please do watch my previous video uh, and here we are mainly uh, going to discuss some of the put and delete options that we use by, by using uh, rest api calls so here i'm going to create a one more directory inside my uh, home directory so for that use curl iphone x put then http master.hadoop.com so this is the my name node ip 50070 is the port where web hdfs is running and uh, where i need to create this directory so new underscore dir so user dot name so my i have a uh, access i mean i have a uh, i'm executing this as this particular user and uh, op equal to that's it so i'm uh, getting that result as true so now let's check whether this is created yes we can see that uh, the directory is created and the name looks like this so and uh, if i create one more directory and uh, with the user uh, some other user like uh, say for example hdfs and uh, new dir2 yes that is also what created and we'll see the permissions so now you can see the second one is the ownership with hdfs and the first one this user so that is because here we use the hdfs as user so this is how we can create the directories using this rest api call so if you are you can execute this command from any application from outside or even from the browser also we can do this thing and uh, we can create uh, different uh, directories but in browser what you need here is uh, you just need to resolve this ip right so i'm copying this one and going to my browser So I'm just creating a three. I think something went wrong. Okay, I think uh, the put option I need to specify. So that's why, because by default it's uh, checking as a get method. I think I need to do some HTML code for that. I mean, uh, sending this method. So you can use this way also creating the directories so next we will see how to uh, upload or how to add a file to hdfs so i have test.txt so i need to add it inside this uh, location so i use curl hyphen x post method sorry not post put method then http dot hadoop dot com five double zero seven zero hdfs v one so how the name uh, the file name looks like so under this one so this is the file I am going to add then question mark user dot name equal to ampersand op equal to create execute sorry here the main problem is this is also uh, require iphone i so you need to know the header and uh, see the result better use iphone flag so this is showing us temporary redirect so temporary redirect means so this is not complete so we need to do some more action and uh, you can see uh, something from the location flag and uh, get copy that contents in the in your this 
let's take this and use the curl command so iPhone I then iPhone T what is the file we are going to upload and then use this one that's it so this I got from the previous command uh, yes it's showing as created yes so now if I do a uh, testing I can see test.txt will be uploaded here yes this file is available here just use hdfs dfs and take cat this file and see the contents so you make sure so the same file and contents are there here yes so that looks same as like our test.txt so this is how we can upload a file using uh, this rest api next uh, we will see how to read the file from hdfs so we can use this command hdfs dfs cat command to uh, read the content the same thing how to curl iphone i then iphone l so http colon master dot adobe dot com five double zero seven zero web hdfs v1 and uh, use this one then user dot name equal to this and uh, op equal to open so we are just opening this file and uh, here you can see the temporary redirect so temporary redirect means so this operation is not completed but still it is showing uh, this one also but okay leave it so go to this location and get that so curl hyphen i use this So this is able to read the content right so this way we can use open for reading a content inside the file so now uh, we will uh, see the rename operation so I have a ABCD directory uh, and uh, what I'm going to do uh, here is I'm just going to rename it into some other name so use curl hyphen i iphone x put http master dot hadoop dot com five double zero seven zero web hdfs v1 and uh, use this one question mark user dot name equal to my user and op operation equal to rename and so we need to add a flag like destination so destination is something like the name uh, that uh, what we are going to rename abcd underscore rename so that's it so it's showing us okay now if I check that <coughs> so ABCD would be renamed to ABCD underscore rename so that's it so this is how the rename operation works so we can uh, rename that so now uh, we will uh, see how to rename a file so this is the file test2.txt I am going to rename it to this one so I am using iphone x put so the same thing so this is my uh, file name which i'm going to convert so the username operation is the rename and the destination is something like this enter yes this is okay so now just so we can see this is renamed to test2 dot uh, underscore rename dot txt so this is how we can uh, rename the files and directories so next uh, we will uh, see the delete operation so can use the curl iphone i iphone x so instead of put i'm using here 
delete http colon slash slash master dot group dot com five double zero seven zero hdfs v1 user dot name equal to my name and uh, ampersand op equal to delete that's it so now if i do this one so this file might be moved or deleted so you can see by after listing this is not there so I'm uh, going to uh, the same thing I can uh, do for directory also like instead of uh, this one so I can use my directory location right so this is deleted so now if we check so this directory also not there right so this is how the delete uh, works so next uh, we will uh, see how to change the permission of a file so we use the same thing curl hyphen i hyphen x put option then http so master dot so this is the name node so web hdfs v1 and uh, this is the file so now you can see the permission is triple seven so I'm change, just changing to 700 I, I don't want to give the group and others permit write and read permission so I'm changing that and uh, so user dot name equal to then op equal to set set permission sorry I need to use not the comma and then add permission equal to 700 so this is okay fine now you I'm just changing checking the permission of this file see that permission has changed so this is how we can change the permission by using the set permission option so next uh, we will uh, change the see uh, how to change the ownership so this is honor uh, this one and uh, group this one so let me change the ownership curl hyphen i hyphen x put so master dot adobe dot com five double zero seven zero web hdfs then v1 and uh, this file question mark of user dot name op equal to so I'm changing uh, this with uh, okay so op equal to set set owner and then uh, owner equal to hdfs and uh, group equal to hdfs So I'm going to change the ownership and the permission ownership of this uh, file. Okay. So here I'm using username as HDFS. Why? Because so that is the super user, and uh, which is having the complete access across all the file system. So here also I'm changing that to any user I can change. So say for example you can change it to root also. So now if I check. So this one will be changed with the root HDFS, right? 
so this is how we can change the ownership so uh, just only thing is you need to just use the owner and the group so operation is the set owner and hyphen x put so uh, so far we have covered the most of the uh, rest api uh, calls that we use to interact with the web hdfs so, so please leave your questions in the comment box so also subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you bye